Pebble Beach. Today we are going to take you on a bicycle tour, street level view, southbound on Ocean Boulevard here in Myrtle Beach. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. We are so glad to have you. So today is actual Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day if you're watching this video the day it comes out. And let's all take a moment to remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, our ability to enjoy this great life that we have here in America. And if you're watching from outside the country, Memorial Day is a day that we honor those who have fallen while serving our country in the military and serving our country in other ways as well. So we are here. Uh, it has been a strange Memorial Day. I'll talk about that a little bit. You're not going to see the crazy level of people you would normally see Memorial Day weekend is probably the single most busy weekend at Myrtle Beach normally. Uh, the 4th of July might tie it, but uh, I think Memorial Day weekend's actually busier. There's a large motorcycle festival, and then of course all the people that are just ready to get their very first trip to the beach going. And so Memorial Day tends to be very, very busy. Don't get me wrong, there are some people here, but it has been nothing like a normal Memorial Day because we have had some insane weather. Uh, since Friday, so today is Monday, since Friday it has been raining and incredibly windy. As you can see this morning it's still overcast but the temperatures are starting to warm up a little and uh, that's the other thing, it's been unseasonably cool. Usually Memorial Day weekend is hot. Uh, the water temperature is warm, it's 73, but like Saturday we went walking on the beach in the rain and the real fill was in the 40s, the 40s. The actual temperature was in the 50s. Uh, but it was so incredibly windy uh, that the real fill was in the 40 Saturday morning. So people have not been swimming, but even if they wanted to, they couldn't. They actually closed the beaches to swimming because the water was so rough. You, you could hang out on the beach, but you couldn't swim in the ocean. Uh, but I don't know why you'd want to. It's not been any kind of weather I would want to be in the ocean for. So since today's Memorial Day, you'll see a lot of people packing up to head out that had a three-day weekend here. So you'll see a lot of suitcases probably as we go down. They are also starting to take down these barricades you see. These are temporary barricades. There are some permanent ones I'll show you when we get a little bit closer to the boardwalk area. But they also put these temporary ones up during really busy times to keep pedestrians from spilling out into the street and keep everyone safe. But we already, we've already biked this going the other direction this morning and they are already starting to pull those up as well. So you see these dreary clouds and it was even misting earlier this morning, but it is supposed to clear up a little bit this afternoon. We're supposed to get a little bit of sun this afternoon and the traffic on Ocean Boulevard will probably pick up a little bit then also, which is why we are biking in the morning. I will tell you, I'm going to check my watch. It is 10 o'clock on the dot right now. So if you're curious about this time of day, that is the time of day right now. Uh, so this bike ride will take us a bit. Um, that's why we didn't bike on the way down. Not only was it misting, but you'd have even fewer people out. But this definitely, short of 2020, I think this has been the strangest Memorial Day we've ever seen. I mean, the beaches have just been deserted because it's not been fun to be out on the beach. But even inland, I think a lot of people canceled their trips. We just haven't seen the level of traffic. Uh, the level of people here that you would normally see. The businesses haven't been as packed as you would expect for Memorial Day weekend. So it is, I'd say one for the books, but not in a good way. Um, I feel sorry for the people who did come because they really haven't had any good weather. Um, you know, you can always make the best of it. We, we always make the best of it. We've done all kinds of stuff this weekend because that's what we do. We just put our rain gear on and go. But if this was your actual vacation and you had spent your hard earned money on a hotel and didn't live here the way we do, then, you know, I could see that being a big bummer, you know, so I feel sorry for those people. Also feel sorry for the businesses. This has to have hurt them because like I said, this is probably the single busiest weekend of the year. So to lose that, that's gotta be a hit. Uh, so we definitely feel for our local businesses. The summer season is officially kicked off with this weekend. So we got exciting times to come. Uh, if you are coming this summer, there's a lot to look forward to. They have all kinds of entertainment that only happens in the summer. There's also a free shuttle. You can Google it. A free shuttle that runs by the city 
it's it's a bus it looks like a trolley and that runs through ocean boulevard and a lot of the entertainment areas so if you're here and you either don't have a car or don't want to drive that's definitely something to look into there's also a lot of free entertainment in the summer such as fireworks broadway at the beach barefoot landing both have some free fireworks and free concerts check their websites for details on which days of the week but yeah there's a lot of fun stuff that goes on in the summer and also of course after this weekend hopefully we're going to have warm great weather Here, here's hoping uh today's not so bad i think it's in the 70s right now uh maybe 60s still uh, i'm warm because i'm biking so it might still be in the 60s but it's definitely warming up quickly today so we're starting to get back to normal this we've had a very weird front uh that hung off our shore causing all the rain and wind they said it came up from florida wow it brought some cold weather with us so it didn't feel like it was from florida uh, but you never know a few people eating here smells good we need smell vision for this that's lulu's cafe that we just passed on the right and so here you see some of the motorcycles for the motorcycle festival i just mentioned on the back of his truck here are some of myrtle beach finest on their bikes uh, we do have bike patrols here and uh, keeping our city safe we appreciate that and now we're starting to come up to the main boardwalk area i will say this i wish they had not put these barricades in the bike lane but you know i guess they got to put them somewhere it'd been nice if they were up on the sidewalk though but i guess then they would fall off but uh, it has made the bike lane a bit narrow today but like i said at least we don't have normal levels of traffic our plan if, if you watch our channel regularly you know we usually put videos out on wednesdays and saturdays and i've been mixing that up a little lately though just to get things out to you as they happen as quickly as possible and we're going to continue trying that we'll see so let us know in the comments what you think about that like does it matter to you which day would you rather see it right when it happens or rather just have it on a schedule does it matter Wait, let us know and also if you're liking this video be sure to give it a thumbs up we really appreciate that helps other people find our video which we really appreciate you start to see the sky well now here's some more bikes to my left they're packing up it's the atlantic beach bike festival that is the one that happens this weekend atlantic beach is just slightly north of myrtle beach but south of the city of north myrtle beach it's a small beach right in between but obviously that spills over into myrtle beach the festival and prior to this one was the spring bike rally we have a, another ocean boulevard biking video where we bike during that bike festival and i'm talking about motorcycles when i say bike festival so if you're interested i will link that one in the description below that is a different bike festival it just ended last weekend so may is motorcycle festival month so if you don't like the noise i would definitely plan your vacations around that but if you don't mind then a lot of fun stuff going on also it's going to be a lot more crowded during those bike festivals and a lot more traffic because they like to cruise so keep that in mind as well there's the sky wheel now you can really see it here's the beach house bar and grill on my right they are not quite open they opened at 11. And then we've got some extreme thrill rides up here on my right and then like i said the sky wheel is coming up we love the sky wheel definitely recommend it it's a lot of fun amazing views it's fun both during the day and also at sunset i don't remember i mean i don't recommend full dark i mean it's up to you there's lots of cool lights in the dark but sunset's a great time because it's a pretty good good length ride so if you time it just right you can see the sunset but also see the lights and everything and you can still sort of see the ocean so i, I definitely recommend sunset or daytime uh, that would be my preference we have both on our channel we have both a sunset and a daytime video if you're interested i'll link those in the description below so now we are getting to the main part of the boardwalk area you can tell the amount of people is picking up 
and this is where all the entertainment is concentrated. You've got a bunch of gift shops. You've got several arcades. You also have all the Ripley's attractions right now. Most of them are closed because they are doing new stuff, which is exciting. I'll cover those as we go by here. This is coming soon as Ripley's Illusion Lab replaced their 5D theater. They also are going to have an indoor putt-putt. And they are also supposedly expanding, expanding and changing the um, Mirror Maze and the Haunted Adventure. They're changing the Haunted Adventure to a 1928 murder mystery theme. So that sounds cool. And then last but not least, coming up here at the corner of 9th Avenue North is Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium. And that is open, that is still open. And uh, they're not making any changes I'm aware of. And they have their arcade there too. You see Peach's Corner on the left here, the volleyball courts on the left. And that is the main boardwalk area over there to the left, right over there. And then we also have this area over here on the right. That used to be the Pavilion Amusement Park. It is now used for festivals. But yeah, here's a good view of the boardwalk. They've got the flags at half mast today for Memorial Day. They did have a parade this morning at 9 a.m. Like I said, they are starting to pick these barriers up. That's why they are turned out like they are because they have unhooked them. They're, they're normally hooked together. So that's why they're like that. Got a good bit of headwind here. I know you guys can't feel it, but boy, I can give those legs an extra workout. Now, normally, if you're curious and if you like biking, normally those barriers are not in the road, in the bike lane. So you've got, it looks like this right here. So these are the pedestrian rails I mentioned that are permanent, and they are planning to expand those further down. So I look forward to the day where we don't have as many of those other barriers. So here's a new, we think, condo complex that's right here, Oceanfront. Right on the boardwalk, too. So that's some primary property. Definitely have a great view of everything going on, both on the street side and on Ocean Boulevard side. If you have a trip coming to Myrtle Beach, let us know. Let us know when and where you're planning to stay. We're always curious about that sort of helps us plan some of our filming. If you have ideas of what you would like to see us film, let us know that as well. That also helps. Helps give us new ideas, new fresh ideas. We have been concentrating a little more on doing restaurants and we plan to do more of those. So if you have a restaurant you'd like to see, let us know. Also let us know what kind of restaurants you like. Oceanfront versus say Broadway at the Beach restaurants, you know, chains versus local restaurants, seafood versus not seafood. Yeah, let us know those kind of things. That really helps. But yeah, this is a... When we were biking this morning, it's a little busier now. We were talking about how it reminded us of 2020. It was so deserted. Because it was really deserted here in 2020. They closed the beaches entirely for a time. And I'm not talking about the water. I mean the entire beach. All the public beach accesses were closed. And so that was definitely a, like a ghost town. Uh, it was very strange. But, uh, and actually we have a vid we have videos on that if you're curious. Um, I, I definitely filmed quite a bit during that period. Plus we also have a video comparing what it looked like one year later to what it looked like then. So if you're curious, definitely check that out. Oh, also something I should mention on Memorial Day weekend and also sometimes 4th of July and other times, they close the lane, the northbound lane, which is the other side, and they only have southbound traffic. They have already stopped that. They were doing that yesterday, but they've already stopped that now because people are heading back out of town. But that's something to keep in mind if you're planning to stay on Ocean Boulevard. You may not be able to go both directions. You may have to circle around and only go one direction. So that's something definitely to keep in mind when choosing to come here on a really, really busy weekend <clears throat> or week like 4th of July. That, Like I said, they've already opened that lane back up. But the reason they close it is so they have a lane for emergency vehicles. Because if they didn't, 
on a normal Memorial Day, this is complete stop and go traffic. It's not moving at all. So there'd be no way for a fire truck, for an ambulance, for any emergency vehicle to get through to help someone. So that's why they do that. Definitely a lot of people packing up. Also, for those of you who don't know, if you're new to our channel, again, welcome. And we just moved here about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, but we also used to have a second home here for about 20 years. So we're very familiar with the area and we spend a lot of time here. But uh, we will be doing, when we get to it, we're gonna wait till we've been here a full year. We will be doing a video talking about what it's like to move here a year later. We've done a few moving videos. And, you know, like the first, when we first moved, we did, I think about three or so. So you could go back and see those on our channel if you're curious, but we will definitely be doing one because we've learned a lot in the last year and it is different. I don't care what people tell you, living here full time is very different than living, I mean, coming occasionally or coming on the weekends or whatever as a second home. It is not the same. And we even spent a lot of time here uh, during the lockdown, um, you know, because we could. So we spent a lot of time here and it's still, it's not the same as living here full time. So definitely check that out. And if you are thinking about moving here, check out our video that talks about getting residency here for your tax purposes for your house. Uh, that is probably the most important video we've put out related to moving. So if you're thinking about moving here, definitely check that one out. That's on our channel. I'll try to remember to put the moving playlist in the description below. But if I don't, you can just go to our channel page on YouTube and search for it. And you'll be able to find it. some kids enjoying the pool. I can hear them right there at Bermuda Sands. And we've got some big hotels coming up here. And we, by the way, we are still in the boardwalk. Uh, people don't realize that the boardwalk, hang on, ice cream hazard here, yuck. Um, people don't realize that the boardwalk is 1.2 miles. So it, it's quite long. It's not just that main area that everyone thinks of where the sky well is. It's actually a long boardwalk. So there's quite a few hotels on the boardwalk. We are going to have a biking tour of the boardwalk coming out very, very soon. So if you want to see the entire length of the boardwalk, definitely subscribe so you won't miss that video. Coming up here on the right is Family Kingdom. Family Kingdom is Definitely a kid-friendly, family-friendly amusement park. Most of the rides are oriented towards children. However, they do have some fun rides for adults. They have a crazy mouse type ride. It's like, I think it's called Twist and Shout. They've got the Swamp Fox, which is a wooden coaster. They also have a log flume. So there's a few rides, Ferris wheel, Pirate Ship, that are fun for the whole family, but they did also have a ton of spinner rides that are fun for kids. Over on the left is what used to be Splash's Water Park that has now been demolished. We have not heard for sure what is coming there yet. That land used to be owned by Family Kingdom, so I don't know if they're gonna put something else there. You do have to pay for parking for Family Kingdom, just keep that in mind. And also, the um, they charge by wristband uh for the day or by the ride so it's up to you if you just want to ride a couple rides you can just pay for those or if you want to ride all day they do sell wristbands for that so their sign right there says open it at 1 p.m so that's another thing to keep in mind they are not open all day so i guess i shouldn't say all day they have varying hours depending on the time of the year and they are closed for the very dead of the winter months it's when they do their refurbishments we do have a video on Family Kingdom, so if you want to check that out, feel free. It's on our channel. We do show all the rides and everything that's in there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.